Hello friends, welcome to Unreal Engine video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, we are going to understand how to import a video file to our Unreal Engine project and play it at runtime. We understand how to import video files to our Unreal Engine projects and play at runtime. You can see I have wildlife video of type mp4. We are going to import it and play it at runtime guys. I am going to double click on Unreal Engine icon available at the desktop. You can see Unreal Project Browser window is open. Under Project Categories, I select Games. Under the Template, I select Blank Template, Project Type Blueprint, Target Platform Desktop, Quality Preset Maximum, No Starter Content, No Real-Time Ray Tracing Enabled. I want to create this project at the desktop with the name My Project. I click on Create button. You can see that it has created My Project folder. You can see that My Project is open in the Unreal Level Editor. I say dismiss, say not now. Next, I go to edit menu, go to project settings and search for DirectX. Search for DirectX and here default RHI, you change to DirectX 11 guys. Okay, select DirectX 11 and say restart now. Okay, my project is open. If you go to project settings and search for DirectX, make sure default RHI is set to DirectX 11 guys. I close this. Next, we are going to import the video file. I right click on the content folder, say new folder, name it as movies. To the movies folder, we import the video file guys. I right click on it, say show in explorer. You can see movies folder is open. To this movies folder, we copy paste the video. So, I copy the wildlife video and paste it to movies folder guys. And then I close this. So that is how you import the video file guys. So first step is to set DirectX 11 in the project settings. And then second step is to import the video file. After importing the video file, we are going to create an asset called as file media source. I right click here, say media and say file media source. And I name it as my media source. If I double click to it, you can see my media source is open. Media source asset is going to hold reference to the video guys. I click on dot 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 and select the video, say open. So file media source asset holds reference to the video. Okay. I save it and close. Next to play the video, we are going to create one more asset called as media player. I right click here, say media and say media player and it is telling additional assets to create do you want to create a video output media texture asset yes i want to create so i select tick and say ok and then i give the name my media player if i hit enter it creates one more asset called as my media player underscore video which is a media texture asset you can see my media player is responsible for playing the video which is available inside my media source guys if i double click to open it you can see it is showing my media source if i double click on my media source you can see it is playing the video so media player is responsible for playing the video which is available inside my media source my media source is holding the reference to the video right you can see it is added to the queue here okay let's save this and close and you see first frame of our video is loaded here in the media texture asset okay now we are going to apply this texture to the 3d object to apply the texture to a 3d object of course we have to create a material right i am not going to create a material from scratch okay what i do i just directly drag and drop this texture on the 3d object unreal engine will create a material for me so what i do first i go to place actors i go to shapes and drag and drop the plane actor here and then I go to details panel I scale it in x axis by 15 I scale it in y axis by 10 times I rotate in x axis by 90 degrees I rotate in z axis by 90 degrees so here we have the plane guys and I move it up you can see we have the plane and there is no player start actor here you can see so what I do I go to place actors go to basic drag and drop the player start now 
I am going to drag and drop this texture on the plane. You will see Unreal Engine creates a material for me. That material is actually applied to the plane. Right? You can see it has created my media player underscore video underscore matte material. If I open this, there is a texture sample and you can see it has applied my media player underscore video texture and it is set to base color here, right? That's what the Unreal Engine does for me. So this material is actually applied to the plane. If you go to plane and go to details panel, you see it is using that material. Fine, we have applied. But if I click on the play button, you don't see video playing. Video is not getting played here. To play the video at runtime, we take help of the level blueprint. So I open the level blueprint. Here I'm going to create one variable called as MEDIA media player reference. We are going to create a variable which is going to hold the reference to the media player. And we know that media player is responsible for playing the video, right? Here variable type I change to MEDIA media player media player object reference. If I say compile, it allows us to select the media player by default here. If I say my media player. We got the reference to media player. Next, I am going to get it. I say get media player reference and then I search for open source, open source node and I connect with event begin play. When we play the game, media player should open this source that is my media source. In the my media source, we have the reference to the video, right? So media player is going to play the video from my media source at runtime guys. If I say compile and save, let me save this label, right click, say new folder, name this as levels and to the levels folder, I save the level with the name level one and then I say save. Okay, let me dock it here. Now, if I click on the play button, you should see video playing here on the plane. If I click on the play button, you see that the video is getting played guys. Video is getting played, but we are not hearing any sound, right? Let me say escape. Now we are going to play the sound also. So how do we do that? I go to the outliner to the plane. I am going to add media sound component. I go to details here. I say add component and search for media sound. So media sound is responsible for playing the sound from the video guys. And you can see here it is asking for the media player reference. So here I select the my media player. My media player is going to play the video and the media player has the video with sound and that sound is extracted by the media sound component and played guys. So this time if I click on the play button, you not only see the video playing, you also hear the sound guys. So let me play. Right? Now the video is also playing and sound also we can hear. Right? So like that, you can import a video file to your Unreal Engine project and play at runtime guys. And if I open the My Media Player, here you have the My Media Source and you can see on the right hand side, Play on Open is enabled. So whenever you open this, it is going to play the video. If you want, you can enable looping option here. If you have multiple videos, you can shuffle them, etc, etc guys. So that's all about how do you import and play the video in Unreal Engine guys. I strongly suggest you people to try it yourself guys. If you try it yourself, you get still more clear idea. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about Unreal Engine. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep gaming, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.